Hey there family, welcome back to Life in the Haim House. It is the weekend and we are up to some projects and doing some things here at the house and today we are canning our pickles. So we've been sharing with you guys updates from our garden all summer long and uh, we've already done two rounds of pickles and uh, we've been waiting to do our third round uh, because we haven't been able to find canning jars. Apparently these things are a commodity that is now impossible to get a hold of but Amy was out she found some uh, half pints not what we would have chosen to use but uh, it'll work so I told her buy as many as you can so we've got uh, four uh, four boxes four cases 12 jars each case and we're going to get started on our kosher dill pickles and there you go nice big stack of pickles there uh, I got a few more probably out there on the vines, but uh, not fully ready to go. So the system is pretty easy. I'm uh, just going to share what we do. It's not a complicated process, um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna can some pickles here. We use uh, a premix for our pickles. Uh, Mrs. Wages create kosher dill pickle packets. Ba -doo -ba -doo. Super easy, directions are on the back. Just about everything you need is right here. And we've got dill, and we are going to try some bread and butter. Amy likes bread and butter, so we're gonna try some of that. So we're gonna set things up, get things ready to go, and uh, start slicing some pickles. We're going to sanitize the jars. We're gonna mix up the mixes, and we're gonna hopefully can some pickles today. So. Let's get on this and have some fun. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our pot ready so that we can sanitize the jars and also then do our boil bath with the jars. So we used to have a legit canning pot, but somewhere in one of our moves, we either sold it at a flea market or I don't know, we used to have a, a the rack and everything. What we've been using is our big stock pot. Stock pot. It works well. Um, Fill it almost all the way up with water. We bring it to a boil. Uh, these jars are gonna require somewhere around 120 degrees. So we'll make sure we temp the water so that we're good to go. And uh, basically what we'll do is we'll do a sterile wash first, uh, which is just the water boiled. Put them in there. We leave them in there for the recommended time. Uh, and then uh, we'll let them cool a little bit and then we'll load them up and bath them. So pot's going, got it heated up. The next thing we'll do is while we're waiting for it to heat up is I'll start going through these pickles and we will slice them and uh, get them ready. Now normally we do some spears and we do some uh, like hamburger pickles or hamburger slices. Um, and I've even tried to do some of the, so you know the sandwich slices where it's the pickle cut long ways uh, but it's just a thin one that you put on your sandwich. Um, we've done those in the past today, or uh, in the past before. But with these half pint jars, I'm not sure we're going to be able to fit the spears uh, into them. So, what I'm probably going to do is just do mostly slices. See, they'd be pretty small spears. And as you look at our pickles, like even some of our smaller ones here won't fit. Look at that. They won't fit in the jar. So I think we're just going to focus on doing slices. So let me get on that, start slicing down that stack of pickles, and uh, we'll get moving. Got the first set of pickles done. You can see I still have a few more to cut, but I got a bowl full, which should fill a couple jars already. I already temped the water, and I know I said it was 120, it's actually 180, and so we're at 180. 
So what I'm going to do is clear this spot here, and I'm going to set it up so that after I do the sterile bath for the jars, I can put them here to cool, and then I'll load them over on the other side. So we're getting there. Um, almost done. Moving on to the next stage, I just started the, this is wages, dill, uh, pickle mix. I like using this stuff because it's already all pre-mixed. Basically all that you have to add is water, distilled vinegar, and you're good to go. So it kind of makes it really simple. And the first round of, of uh, pickles that we did, they came out awesome. Mix is just about ready. I gotta bring it to a boil. We're just about there at a boil. The bath for uh, sealing the jars, reheating that. So that will be good to go. And uh, we already have our jars. We're gonna pack 11. These will just be the dill slices. And then we'll do the butter and uh, what's it called? Oh, the bread and butter. We'll do them in another set of jars, but we're gonna do this one first. And I think we're just about ready. Starting to move around quite a bit there, and uh, we'll fill these up. Jars are full, 11 dill pickles. We're gonna drop them back into the bath, get them to seal up, and we'll be done with the dills. Then we'll turn our attention to the bread and butter, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But that's gonna do it for now. I'll come back when everything is done and all set and uh, sealed. So we'll see then. So we're all done. Just finished cleaning up the kitchen. Everything looks good. Got a whole batch of dill potato pickles. There goes the final product right there. I end up being able to do a few spirits because I forgot that Amy picked up a couple of those larger fluted canning jars. So that worked out well. And then I also finished up a bread and butter and they're already out in the garage. So. Everything's all good and done. Oh, I'm getting a little dark there. So I'm going to sign off and say thanks for watching today's episode of Life in the Heim House as we can our pickles. Probably will do it one more time, maybe, uh, depending on what we get off the vines. But you know what to do. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.